Picasso made beautiful minimalist line drawings and I wanted to celebrate that with a puzzle. Here we have 36 squares in a spiral and the puzzle is to cover as much of the canvas as you can using these brush strokes of Picasso. Let's look at this brush stroke. So for example the 4 to 28 brush stroke that has got seven squares in it and that's not a coincidence. Four times seven is equal to 28. The same with the three and 36. Three times 12, there's 12 squares in that shape, three times 12 is equal to 36. And in the brush stroke that begins with nine and ends with 27, well there's three squares in that and three times nine is 27. First I want to tell you exactly what a legal brush stroke is. This is a legal brush stroke. This is not. It's not for two reasons. First of all, it completely surrounds a region on the board, in this case these two squares. Second, it's not legal because it has a square that is completely orange. You're not allowed to have a square completely of one color. Okay, so now let's do it for a slightly larger grid. You guys should go off and play with this yourself once you get familiar with it. Okay, so here I've got three brush strokes. How much am I going to score? I'm going to score 12 points for this because there's 12 squares that I've not managed to find a way to cover in that canvas. The lower the score, the better. This is a slightly better result. Here I got 11. You should now go and experiment yourself. Try to solve the 7x7 seven seven canvas by getting a, as low a number of po as possible. Now I'm going to show you my best result. Now I don't do computer searches so these best results that I've come up with almost certainly someone's going to beat them. This one looks pretty good to me so I'm not sure if you'll beat this one. Um, only getting five squares that I didn't cover. I think that's pretty good. Okay, let's go up to 64. There's uh, one possible solution. Here I got a score of 10. Let's see if you guys can do better. Come back to me once you have. I'll show you my best result. Okay, my best result is not this, and it's not this. It is this. I managed to get a score of 6. Let's go to 81 squares. I spent about 10 minutes looking for this so probably you're going to find a better one but I'm pretty proud of getting to 8. Next we'll try 100. So this was one of my first attempts and pretty good. You'll notice the little brush stroke there 23 and 46. 23 times 2 is equal to 46. That was cute and uh, unfortunately this does very poorly. I have 27 places that I have not managed to cover. Uh, this is even worse, 28, 26, and I could not for the longest time, and I worked on this for like probably a couple hours. I know that I, I have a good puzzle whenever I spend so long on it that it takes it me forever to get ready this video. I've been working on this for over a month just because um, I find other things to do, but also because I just I just fell into this and I kept on wanting to get better and better results. So this is the second best result that I got, and you guys really should try to get better than this. That's 11, and I, I think it's pretty tough. I'm sure there's going to be computer programmers out there that, that beat this, but I'm pretty happy with it. Of course, there's no need for you to play around with spirals. This also works perfectly well with a regular kind of layout. Um, this looks a really good place to start. Of course 46 is way too high but you can do some stuff with the remaining ones. Um, you could do the 5 like this, the 3 like this, or the 4 and the 5. This was the best I could do. I came up with 22. And even if I play around with the whole grid, and I did for quite a while, um, I could not do better than 22. I equal 22, so this was never got better than 22. So enjoy uh, playing around with these line drawings of Picasso. Take care.